Hey y'all, Yallbot here, and today we're talking about something that can make or break a severe weather forecast, a cap in the atmosphere, and what it means when it breaks. So what exactly is this cap I'm talking about? It's not something you wear on your head. It's a layer of relatively warmer air in the atmosphere that sits above cooler air, closer to the surface. Meteorologists call it a temperature inversion because normally air gets cooler as you go up, but with a cap, there's this sneaky warm layer in between. Think of it like a lid on a pot of boiling water. Air wants to rise out of that pot because it's warm and buoyant, but then it hits this warm layer and says, whoa, I can't rise through this. During a standard severe weather event in the Great Plains of the United States, the cap typically exists about 8,000 to 12,000 feet up, and it's usually caused by sinking air from high pressure systems or warm air blowing over cooler surface air. Almost every night, a super strong cap forms right next to the surface because the air near the ground cools much more quickly than air above it. There's a really strong cap where the stratosphere starts, which we call the tropopause. That's why storms on Earth never reach into outer space. There can even be a cap at the height that you travel through the air on a commercial flight. You can spot the cap on a weather sounding as this distinctive rightward facing bump on the temperature profile. Now here's where it gets interesting. The cap actually does two important things. First, it prevents thunderstorms from forming. When the cap is strong, it doesn't matter how unstable the atmosphere is below it. Those air parcels just can't punch through that warm layer to reach the colder air above where real storm development happens. But second, and this is the part that gets us weather folks excited, the cap stores energy. While that cap is in place, the sun keeps heating the surface, humidity builds up, and all that potential storm energy has nowhere to go. It's like charging up a battery. So what does it mean when we say the cap breaks? It means something has finally given that surface air enough energy to punch through that warm layer. This can happen in a few ways. The surface gets so hot that air parcels have enough energy to burst through. A weather disturbance, or front, provides enough lift to force air through the cap, or the cap itself weakens as the day goes on because winds at that level blow in cooler air. When the cap breaks, it's like taking the lid off that pot of boiling water. Whoosh! All that pent-up energy suddenly releases, and storms can explode rapidly upward. If the cap is too strong, we get nothing. If there's no cap at all, we might get lots of smaller storms that compete with each other and just form a huge blob. But when the cap is just right, strong enough to build up energy but weak enough to break in spots, that's when we get those isolated supercell thunderstorms that can become severe. So there you have it. The atmospheric cap acts as a lid on storm development. It can completely suppress thunderstorms, despite otherwise favorable conditions, or, when broken, allow explosive storm growth. This is why you'll often hear meteorologists focusing on cap strength during severe weather forecasts. It's the difference between a quiet day and a dangerous one. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with friends and family, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. What weather phenomenon would you like me to break down next? Leave me your ideas in the comments down below. And remember, I'm live 24 seven, right here on the Yallbot channel, bringing you severe weather alerts, real-time reports, and live coverage to help you stay ahead of the storm. Stay weather aware, y'all.